It's Carl from Studio In Car. This is a GR Yaris with one of our straightforward yet hard hitting systems. Let's take a look. little cars they just sound dreadful they drive really well but the stereo even with the, the amplified like option stereo or the straightforward stereo they're just they're just hollow and crap and they have these um, like the fake engine noises pushed through them some people like it some people don't typically the people that like it are not the type to like sort of upgrading car audio and the other guys vice versa you know so when I said it's a straightforward system this this is a uh, five channel conventional amp, so an SR5.600 uh, Audison amplifier. Hertz uh, HA, nice to use to be fair, we haven't used one for a while and it just takes me back a little bit. Real simple, straightforward DSP to get around with no frills, it's just sound, you know. Um, Audison APK165P, which is the AP component set, six and a half inch component set, um, but it was all, um, it was sort of revamped and boosted. It's got a better mid bass, a better tweeter, things like that. So just offers a second stage at the entry AP line. Custom baffles in the doors, full sound in in the doors, which is an absolute must in these. Um, tweeters are in the pillars with plastic welded a, a bracket for the tweeters in the pillars. And an Audison APBX8R, so an eight inch ported slimline subwoofer box, which uh, slams you know this has got a, a a real small cabin which helps that small subwoofer couple with it you know so uh, yeah i've just got out of there now just aligned it done a little bit of eq because the factory head unit is still you know we still have to deal with the factory head unit sound so we have to re-equalize some of the little notches in there bags of volume bags of fun great little system i'm going to show you around the car quickly um, show you the base controller which is just sort of neatly tucked away and I'll show you the sub box under the factory boot floor we removed the polystyrene one of the right hand polystyrene section and we slightly modify the left hand one so uh, yeah let's take a look around it so you can see there's no um, interruption to the actual car's boot space itself and then underneath the OEM boot floor, you can see the subwoofer there. Everything's still in here, so we've put the pump back in in a different place. We've put the tyre fluid in a different place. We're all still in there and all the tools for sort of getting the car off the ground. And that's, you know, not a bit of bother in the boot there. So yeah, fully sound end. We've done the, the door cards are done. The actual door panels done itself, uh, inner, outer, and door card, and then uh, the tweeters are up in the original location in the pillars there. The base controller, if I can show it to you here, is in that rear coin tray holder there. Little base knob, and that runs from the SR5.600, so that's a linear base controller. We didn't want to fit the um, H8 digital controller because there's just multiple presses to control the subwoofer and stuff like that. So in this car, that's how that will be used. Um, it seems irrelevant when we can just have a knob that we can turn it up and down and we just get that nice rapid sort of linear change between tracks if we want it. So, yeah. Let's see if I can show you the amplifiers. So yeah, you can see just in there, our system replaces the OEM um, amplifier location so the original amp is down there the original loom is down there things like that and um, our integrations done throughout the car but that's a decent location that there's actually buckets of space underneath the seat in these things you know you could have a an under seat woofer on the left hand side not that we do many of them they're not not really that good All right so that's it gr yaris you know we've done a few of them now it's a um yeah it's a good platform it upgrades well you know you can have that decent drive that it's got and you can have decent sound at the same time. So yeah, we've got GI Yaris, give us a shout. There's, you know, they're not a straightforward car, these. There is, there are sort of tricks to them to get them to work properly and 
we've got them tricks in the bag. All right, I'm Carl with Studio In Car. There's links down below to all the products, links to get hold of us. I'll put our email address up now. Give us a shout. All right, take it easy.